Welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the save operation. In this video, we are going to discuss about the delete operation. The delete operation is pretty straightforward and we are going to perform the delete operation step by step. So let's get started. First, what I what we want to do is we are going to create a one more column just next to the address column. And in that column, we are going to provide two links. One is update link and the delete link. So first we'll concentrate on the delete link. So on click of the delete link, so we're going to delete the respective record. For example, all these records will contain the delete link and on click of the delete link, we are going to delete the respective record. So let's see how we can perform that. First, we are going to add a one more column next to the address column. So I'll go to the Eclipse and I'll go to the least employees.jsp. Let me copy this and I'm going to add it and I'll change this to actions. Let's copy this and paste it and I'll change this and I'm going to create a delete link. So I'm going to create an anchor tag and I'm going to provide the href attribute. For now, let's provide the value as hash and I'm going to provide the value which is delete. Now to this we are going to attach on click because we don't want to delete the employee record directly. First we need to ask a confirmation message to the user or you really want to delete the employee record then we can delete the employee record. So I'm going to provide a confirm dialog box. So what I'll do is confirm I will provide a message are you sure want to delete the record so now I'm going to wrap this entire thing inside the if condition if not and our confirmation dialog box Okay, and I'm going to return false. And now let's save this and I'm going to reload the web page. We should expect the one more column with a delete link. Press Ctrl F5 and you can see each record will contain the delete link. So now let's try to delete a record. Of course, we haven't done anything. So let's click on this delete and we will see the pop up like are you sure want to delete the record if I click OK then you will see you will see the hash because we have added in the href attribute. So if I click one more time and if I press cancel then it will disappear. Okay so now we have added the delete link. So in the next video we are going to add the link to this delete link so that when the user click on this link it will be navigating to the controller and in the controller we will be printing the respective employee id so then we can perform the database operations once we get the employee id so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video